Straight ahead on Kate's News at 5, honoring veterans through quilts. Today, a local veteran received a special gift thanks to a local shop. We'll hear from the veteran straight ahead. Good evening, I'm Belle Trevino. Welcome to Kate's 10 News at 5. Today in Caddo, a local veteran received a special quilt from friends and family at Sassy's Quilting. Kate's Olivia Hersberg, you're live in studio with more on those festivities. It was a special morning as Vernon Wesley Sanders, a 20-year veteran, received a patriotic quilt made from Sassy's Quilting in Caddo. Vernon served in the United States Air Force as a bomb disposal technician. He was assigned to the Secret Service details with protection of President Reagan, President Bush, and the Pope. Vernon says patriotism was instilled in him at a young age. I grew up in a time when uh, patriotism, you know, it, it, and your country meant a lot, your state and your country service meant a lot. Uh, we had good teachers to, to teach that and instill that into us and, and I, I think it, that's what made America great. Sassy's Quilting hopes to honor more veterans who are the ultimate American hero. Later tonight we'll get a closer look at the ceremony. In studio, Olivia Herzberg, K10 News. Hunter, you're in our Graco Heating and Air Weather Center. I mean, just hot, 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 hot all week and not yeah. ending. <laughs> yeah, Bell, it is certainly hot. We're going to continue with the heat just for the next couple of hours. Biden administration with new guidelines when it comes to nursing homes across the country. We'll learn how this might impact companies who operate nursing homes in southern Oklahoma. K10 News at 5 for your Thursday afternoon starts right now. Afternoon, everybody. I'm Bob Rickey. Lucian will return this evening. Last week, the Biden administration announced a proposed rule for nursing homes across the country. K10's Lexi French explains how it might make a difference for, for facilities in southern Oklahoma. Staff with care providers of Oklahoma are voicing concerns about how the proposed rule would impact facilities with the already existing health care worker shortage. Babe Ruth called it the best game in the world baseball and a minor league team could soon call Sherman home. We'll hear from city staff on what's ahead. K10 News at 5 for your Wednesday afternoon starts right now. Afternoon everybody, I'm Bob Ricky. Hi there, I'm Liz Ann Anderson. We're going to get to that story in just a minute, but first we've got a storm that's popped up over southeastern Oklahoma. Mandy, you're in our Graco Heating and Air Weather Center. Uh, yeah, low severe weather thread for today, but we are seeing these storms pulsing up on Right now on ABC 10 First News, we're watching some possible severe weather, which is coming into our eastern Oklahoma region, as you can see there. Chief Meteorologist Mandy Bailey has the details of what we're watching for straight ahead. Hello and thank you for joining us this afternoon. I'm Belle Trevino in for Bob. You're watching ABC 10 First News. And our great go heating and air weather center, Ma Mandy, tell us about this severe weather we're seeing. Uh, yeah, Bell. Storms right now are sub severe, but there is going to be a severe weather threat with any of these that could pulse up to severe limits heading into this evening and into the early overnight. Now, Love County deputies responded to a single car fatality crash with entrapment early this morning. According to the Love County Sheriff's Office, just before 430 AM, deputies were called to the area of State Highway 76 and a county line where they located a single vehicle with extensive damage. The two occupants in the vehicle were deceased upon arrival. And Oklahoma superintendent urged the governing body for Oklahoma school athletics to consider new minimum event safety standards. This after a recent deadly shooting at Choctaw High School football game. Board members for the uh, OSSAA met Wednesday, but made no decision about the possibility of establishing stricter minimum requirements. Members of a new semi-pro baseball team are making their way to the city of Sherman. Caton's Abigail Brown spoke with city, uh, city staff to learn more about the team. Abigail? For the past several months, city staff have been working behind the scenes with owners of semi-professional baseball teams around Texas to bring a team to Veterans Field at Fairview Park. This new baseball team will mostly be composed of collegiate players who will travel during summer months. According to city staff, Veterans Field is not up to par for semi-pro standards. So in order to make the financials of uh, this whole deal work, uh, they did need to make sure that they were going to be able to sell beer at the uh, games because of a technicality in state law um, with the park being close to Fairview Elementary School, even though the stadium itself isn't nearly uh, very close at all. Um, they did have to come ask permission from city council to be able to do that. Right now, the team doesn't have a name and city staff are hoping to host a contest to select the best moniker. Live in Studio Abigail Brown, K10 News. 
New hardware on Ardmore police cruisers helping prevent crime. Three license plate reader camera systems being installed. The equipment should uh, help with criminal interdiction, costing the city nearly $39,000. Coming up on K10 News at 6, we'll hear how the cameras work and how they'll be used. Marijuana related crashes requiring ER treatment went up nearly 500% between 2010 and 2021. That's according to a new study. Meanwhile, car crashes due to drunk driving grew less than 10% during that same time period. There is concern the increase in severe marijuana involved traffic injuries may be part of a broader trend of increasing cannabis impaired driving over time and after legalization. And Bullard ISD's football game, according to a note from the Cattle Mills ISD Superintendent Luke Allison, Two students were airlifted during the third quarter, suspending the game. These are pictures after that moment when fans and students all decide to stay and pray for those taken to the hospital. Superintendent Allison says both players, including another taken separately by parents later, were released and had no internal or in, internal injuries or spinal damage. In Texas, convicted drunk drivers will be required to pay child support if they kill a child's guardian. House Bill 393 went into effect Friday. It says the convicted drunk driver will be expected to make payments to the child until the child is 18 years old or until the child graduates from high school. Southeastern Oklahoma State University offering a new program next spring for healthcare professionals interested in leadership roles. The Healthcare Administration Master's Degree Program prepares grads to plan, direct, and coordinate medical and health services for hospitals and clinics. People who have been uh, perhaps nurses, respiratory therapists, um, quality management, anyone who's worked anywhere in healthcare and um, who wants some additional training because they want to move into leadership positions, this is the degree for them. St. John tells us this is just the start of more nursing programs the university plans to add. People from Davis lining Main Street this afternoon to surprise a young man who is back home after the Winniewood Refinery fire in May. Eli Warren was greeted with a warm welcome back as students, friends and supporters prepared signs and a parade. Law enforcement escorted Eli from Oklahoma City to Davis and later tonight we'll hear from a family friend and co-worker who planned fundraisers for Eli and Wes Foster, the second victim who had died after the fire. Well, hundreds of law enforcement officers continue their hunt for an escaped murderer on the run in southeast Pennsylvania. He was spotted for an eighth time as they grow more frustrated with how long the search is taking. Here's ABC's M. Wynn. Still ahead on ABC 10 First News, music is filling the night tonight in Denison. Coming up later this half hour, we take a look at a special inaugural music night at Kickback's Backyard. And college football is back. We've got a ton of teams to talk about, including the Texas Longhorns, who face Rice in their opener today, later in sports. And continuing with a little bit of a warm up as we're heading towards this next week. I'll talk about that coming up. But first, your outdoor activity planner is sponsored by Signature Home Furniture. Singer Jimmy Buffett, who inspired millions of parrot heads with hits like Cheeseburger in Paradise and Margaritaville, has died. But his music and his legacy live on. Whit Johnson takes a look back on that legacy. Buffett was 76. There is sad news in the entertainment world today. Bob Barker, the host of The Price is Right and a beloved fixture on television for more than 30 years, has passed away. He was 99 years old. CNN Stephanie Alam has a look back on his remarkable life. Just look forward to going to work for half a century. <laughs> 